Hi, welcome back to another Drift Cars JP video. I know it's been a little while, family, kids, all that sort of stuff gets in the way. Um, what I'm doing today is on my uh, Rally Art Colt, I'm going to be fitting a, a Cusco rear sway bar on this. Um, the reason I've gone for a Cusco rear sway bar is that I've, I've fitted a set of RSR springs to the, um, the Colt. And with the stock suspension, when, when it is lifted right up, the spring is very, very loose in the um, bucket. So with the Cusco rear sway bar, what it does is it adds, adds a little bit of a bracing around it. Um, hopefully, if the worst case ever happens, the spring's not going to fall out. So, but what I've been up to recently, because uh, I haven't done much on the channel recently, I've been doing some motorbikes. They're a bit hard to film. I haven't really done anything like that on the channel. It's um it's hard to do a, a resto on a bike. So this is a Yamaha TW200 that I've restored. It's pretty much finished. I'm just waiting on a few little more parts to arrive for it. And that's um, that'll be up for sale that one, and I've just picked up this just uh, literally last night. Is a it's an import, it's a Yamaha Raid, which is a Japanese version. So I'll be uh, stripping this down and, and restoring that in the next few months. But what I've bought is the Cusco uh, rear sway bar. This is the part number for it. This is from uh, RHD in Japan. Oh no, sorry, this was all on Ning Ningun actually. So. I haven't actually got it out of the box yet, so I've literally just opened the end just to make sure it looked like the right thing. So I'll get it out and we'll get it open on the bench and see what it is. Looks like it's got some stickers, which is nice. That's the main thing, isn't it, when you buy any uh, car parts. If you don't get any stickers, you're upset. So what I'll do is I'll get the camera down and we'll, uh, we'll undo this and get it out. So I'll do this video as a quick sort of installation. I'm not going to probably do a drive and a review on it because I really sometimes I don't think these rear sway bars do, do all that much on these the, the way the suspension set up is on them so we get out of the packet and have a look what it looks like fitting instructions which is pretty self-explanatory on this it's not um not an overly complicated thing to fit you've got some mounts for the sway bar and that's it so it comes with your, all your instructions i've not seen any stickers in here so there's the, the mounts that go with it the, so these are the these are the parts that sit up underneath your um your spring bucket so what we'll do is i'll get the car jacked up i'm like missing a sticker which that's disappointing might be in the box somewhere but um yeah and i'll get the car jacked up and we'll uh we'll get into it now these are pretty simple installation on these you need to jack it up get it on some stands but you want to leave your trolley jack here to just to take keep the tension in the springs because you've got to undo the bottom uh, shock bolt and if you undo both at the same time or undo one the whole rear suspension is going to drop down on you so all you need is 70 mil so you can see what i mean by here like see the the springs they're they're quite quite loose up in there I've put a, a cable tie around them just to stop them just in case they hit a big bump or something like that and the actual the car lifts up and the uh, rear, rear suspension drops down so what we'll do is just undo the, the, the lower 70 mil so this is how this is the lower bucket so that bolt there basically sits in there like that sits inside that bracket you can put the bolt back through you've got to put your tops top spacer goes inside here like that so we might want to just get the the bolt just to help locate it you put that like that so it might be easier so we've got to put a the top spacer on and then the nut Get our uh, shock bolt. So we'll do all this up loose to start with. 
and we'll do the do the other side. So I'm not going to show you the other side. The other side is exactly the same as this. Right, so this is about a 10 minute job. This is this is a good easy easy quick upgrade. But like I said, I'm more more fitting it just so it gives the the lower spring there a bit more of a like a capture area. If if the spring does pop out, it's going to sit into this bucket. Whereas if you look on this side here, if that spring does ever pop out, it's just going to fall straight out of the. Uh, the, sh the, the carrier there so the other side is exactly the same i won't tell you fitting that one up so that's just exactly the same on the other side it's like i said it's an easy job but i don't think it's going to really do a whole great deal because these are solid you're not getting a lot of flex through the back of the um rear suspension on these anyway as such so it's more of a i don't know almost more of an aesthetic uh, item rather than an actual performance upgrade it might do something if i ever track the car it might help the thing with the understeer or something like that but yeah i haven't really actually got any plans to do anything like that with this car just yet so what it is i'll get that one fitted finished fitted up i'll get this one fitted up and then we'll, we'll pick it up as i'm putting the bar bar on okay so we've got both sides in now the other side's just sitting in there so we'll just undo these uh these nuts off the, off the brackets there was no sticker in my box either. I was like having a look, look, good look through the box to see if there was any in there, but no, nah, they've dipped us on this one. Cause guys normally pretty good. You normally always get a sticker when uh, you order any of their sort of stuff. Anyway, that's that's what happens sometimes. So this this might be the tricky part here, getting it in. That's why I've left all these brackets loose, cause I might even have to drop. I reckon I might have. To Drop one back off. Gotta get this in. I reckon. I'll leave one side in, but we're gonna have to just drop one side off and put it all in at the same time. Which we might actually we just undo this. So that's the sway bar mounted up. Um, I've done all the bolts up, it's all nice and tight. Um, nothing's uh, fouling on anything. There's uh, quite a fair bit of clearance between the uh, sway bar and the actual rear sus uh, suspension arm. Like I said, it's more probably an aesthetics looking uh, pleasing item rather than actual function. I'll do an update in the next video that I do uh, when I get around to it, um, just to sort of see if it, if it actually does feel any different. I don't really think it's going to because like I said it's a solid I put one on my Honda um, Civic Type R and I it, I did feel it actually made a bit of a difference on that but this thing being so light it probably won't really bother the thing at all so um, yeah so but there that's that job done so I'll drop the car back down okay so that's job done just a little quick video I haven't done a video for a while so I thought I better get something up um, the channel's just hit 5,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. And that's just normal subscribers. There's no paid subscribers or anything like that on there. So I'm just letting it do it its own thing. So, um, upcoming videos. I've got to do a gearbox rebuild on this. Second gear needs to be replaced. I've got all the parts sitting there ready to go. I don't know if I'll film it. I might just film a quick strip down just to show what the gearboxes are inside. But, of course, they're the same as a, a R50 Mini 
they're the same gearbox so there's a lot of stuff on youtube for it anyway so but i'll keep some other content coming up i'm going to probably change the exhaust on this later on um i haven't picked out what i want to get for it yet there's a lot of stuff i, I have in trouble getting stock for it's like four or five months wait and stuff like that which i'm more impatient i like to get stuff straight away i hate waiting waiting around for parts if i want it i want it on there within the next two weeks so um and that's it i've sold the skyline actually um which is just a bit of a different decision i've got a skyline crossover now so i might do a few videos on that it's virtually the same car but it's just an suv um it was just a bit more of a practical option with uh two kids a family sort of car sort of thing so um yeah and that's it so if you're with the um cult rally art community give us a like on the video subscribe to the channel there'll be a few more videos come up i might get around one day i might put on a track or do a hill climb or something like that with it but um, i haven't sort of got that far just yet i've been trying to get these bikes sorted so anyway thanks for watching cheers see you next time bye